Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I am in the mood for fall. <laughs> it's been so hot here the last week. It was it was in the 90s and my studio is still a little bit warm, but I and every time it happens like that in the Midwest, you know, whenever it's really hot, we wish for cold and when it's really cold, we wish for warm. So, I am kind of feeling fall colors, so that is what I want to do today. I'm going to do a bloom today with fall inspired colors just because I, I just need some cool air in here. <laughs> so let's go get started having some fun with that. All right, for this fall fun piece, I've got a nine by 12 regular canvas that I'm going to work with. Um, I will talk about the pillow paint in a minute. I want to show you the colors first uh, and then we'll get to the pillow. I'm using a different pillow today. But these are all the colors. I'm gonna I'm gonna be using Parage Posse paints today. I've got Persian uh, autumn yellow. I love that uh, dark yellow. It kind of reminds me of um, Joe Sonia's Indian yellow, but this is actually a little bit deeper. Uh, I never used to be a huge yellow fan until I started painting. <laughs> But here is the uh, consistency for that. These are all mixed with the Valspar Ultra High Gloss Varathane Pouring Medium Mix. And I will have everything uh, listed at the beginning of this video in snapshots and also down below in the description box. And my next color is going to be Ellie's Evergreen Shimmer. And that's what the color looks like. And here I have it mixed up. That yellow actually doesn't have a shimmer to it. It's just a straight up paint, but uh, this this green does have a shimmer to it and it's got a nice, uh, nice flow to it. I just mixed these up a couple hours ago and I've been itching to paint, so <laughs> I didn't want to wait any longer, so they might be just a touch bubbly. <clears throat> okay, my next color is Morning Pansy Shimmer. And that's what it looks like in the container. If you know me, you know you all know I love my purples. But there's that consistency. And then my last color, this is Antique Copper Metallic. And here's what it looks like inside. Uh, just the paint. And then mixed up, I, I can't wait for, to see this on the painting. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. It almost has... I mean, it's a, it's a copper, but it almost has a pink undertone, pink and a gold undertone. I, I can't describe it really well. It's just gorgeous. All right. <clears throat> my pillow. Normally I use my Glidden Premium. I love my Glidden Premium, uh, but I didn't have a lot of it left on my bench. And I had a lot of, uh, a pillow that I used to use is uh, from Menards. It's a Midwestern hardware store here. Uh, it's the Pittsburgh Ultra, and I would use either the satin or the eggshell, similar to how I uh, use the satin or eggshell in the Glidden Premium. Let me show you the can, just in case. If I can get it in frame, this is what I'm going to be using today. It is the white pastel base in the satin, and it's Pittsburgh Ultra. They do have it, uh, you know, if you if you are in the Midwest and you want to try it. Uh, I would suggest getting a quart. It is thicker than, uh, I would say both the Glidden Satin and it's maybe the same as the Glidden Premium Eggshell, but sometimes it can be thicker than that. I mean, it's a nice stretchy pillow, um, but sometimes it can be a bit thick. And I haven't used it in a while, and I said, you know, I I want to give it a go again and see. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I used to love using it, and then I got on the Glidden Kick, and I've been using the Glidden for quite some time. So I'm just going to leave that much, because we're going to do a bloom today, and I want to do it right in the center. And I'll probably end up putting more paint around the sides, but I don't want to add too much, because I don't want to have to take off a ton of paint either. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the cell activator while I'm at it. It's the Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with the Australian Floetrol. I just have a little bit left, and it's mixed at uh, 4 to 1. Uh-oh. All right. 
left. I'm gonna get messy and drizzly with this. That should be enough. That was the uh, Persian Autumn Yellow. And this is the Ellie's Evergreen Shimmer. And then the Morning Pansy Shimmer. Love this purple. And then the Antique Copper Metallic. Not really spreading out too much. If you can see, uh, uh, normally, as uh, especially with the Glidden, as you put your paints on, it starts to spread out more. But this, uh, this Pittsburgh Ultra is a little bit more. It doesn't move. It doesn't. It doesn't want to run. It's not moving. <laughs> so it's kind of staying where where it wants to. Um, Definitely thicker to blow through. But one of the things I always liked about this pillow was it it, because it's so thick, it's very, I don't know if I'm using the right term, it's its buoyancy. It just bounces right back up like nobody's business. <laughs> All right, let's just add a little bit of flair to this and then we, I'll, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I forgot that the pillow doesn't move. I'm definitely going to be adding some more around the sides to get this going. I really love what I'm seeing with these cells. Just gorgeous. Wasn't sure what I was gonna do with that. Let's fix this a little. Poke that back down. Actually, I'm just gonna come back and try to fix that a little bit better. There we go. Got a little weird on me. There we go. That'll probably just come off anyways. better. Just add a little 
little bit more pizzazz right here. <laughs> okay. Wow, this turned out really nice. It's all up to... All right, I am going to... I'm going to put some more pillow just around here, and then I will meet you over at the spinner box, and we will see what comes of it. All right, I've added some pillow to the rest of it just to get it to move around. But that's what it looks like before we spin it out. It looks pretty neat in bloom form, and we'll see. I don't mind if there's going to be negative space. We'll see how it how it's going to shape up, but move it over just a, just a hair, and we're going to... Give it a spin first. Healthy spin. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Yowza. Gosh. That is gorgeous. I do got some more paint on there, so I'm going to give it another spin this way. Mmm. Wow, those colors are so bright. Just gorgeous. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm not getting a lot of movement. I'm just gonna do one more spin uh, this way. Just a little, a little baby, baby spin. Uh, it's kind of moving a little bit in the middle. All right, I wanna do one more. I just kind of wanna get this closer to the edge. Wow. Looks like you're getting sucked into a fairy forest. That is so cool. Those colors. Oh boy. All right. I'm not getting any movement. I think I'm going to stop there. I'm okay with this right here. I might just add a little squiggly just for some finesse, but I think we're good. Wow. All right. Here's what that one looks like. I'm going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy. All right. Here is the flyover of this guy. All those shimmers in there, it's just gorgeous. It's almost like that yellow is just coming through and it's kind of glowing within the woodland forest or fairy forest or whatever you want to call it. Look at all that. Ooh, I love that cell right, right there. Just gorgeous. I can't believe these cells. They're just, what? <laughs> uh, and it was a little, all that hit there is little bubbles that I popped. I, uh, I, I just couldn't wait. So my, my paints were a little bit bubblier, but I think it kind of adds a little effect to this piece. So I will be back once it's dried to show you the dried results. And I'm back to show you the piece you just saw me do. And it dried beautifully. I, <laughs> I I don't know if these colors are just really bright or if it's partly the pillow, but uh, uh, I am super pleased with this. I mean, it's just dried beautifully, exactly how uh, you saw it wet. And it does have a subtle shimmer to it. It's still wet kind of right in there in the middle. So I'm going to be very careful not to touch it, but those, especially this... Uh, antique metallic copper. Let me bring you in just to show you all the details. I mean, this webbing, even on the side, I don't know if it's going to pick up. It just, it's just kind of like an extension of it. <laughs> it's so cool. It's like a, the only thing I could think of is like a, it's like a woodland fairy forest there's I don't know if it's gonna pick up but my light is kind of getting it but it's just they just kind of melted onto the side absolutely love this piece and I actually 
I like it with the purple at the top too. So it could go, it could go a few different ways. I feel like this was really a lot of fun <laughs> and cooled down my studio. <laughs> at least I've in theory anyways, but, uh, but yeah, so let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. I would love to, uh, Hear your thoughts and you know if you've done any uh, color combos similar to this if you're getting the heat like we are here in the midwest i'm getting tired of it i'm i am truly looking forward to fall so <laughs> with that please like share and subscribe and until next time i will see you guys later thanks so much for watching